Hi folks, it's Antar and I'm back with a new Gen 4 standard battle. Um, my opponent today is Mr. Neely13. Uh, the two of us have actually battled a bunch of times. He's, I believe, the only person who's battled all four of my currently active teams. Um, one of those battles you already saw. Uh, the other three are going up as my next three PBR battles, starting with this one. So anyway, uh, yeah, so... He leads off with his Machamp, and I lead off with my Aerodactyl. I'm like, oh god, Machamp. Uh, Anti-lead Machamp is so freaking hard for me to deal with because I don't have a Ghost-type. Actually, I think no guard hits through Ghost-types, maybe not? Um, I should actually look that up. Um, but anyway, he this is actually not a no guard Machamp. This is a Guts Machamp, and his cross chop missed. So that's a sorry bit of hacks for him, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Celebi, figuring that if he doesn't have Ice Punch, which I figure if he had Ice Punch, he would have used it against my Aerodactyl, um, then Celebi should be a pretty good wall for him, um, and should probably force a switch. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and U-turn here, except for he doesn't switch! And I'm like, what? That's strange? Uh, so, yeah, U-turn does no damage at all, um, and I am going to have to send out a new Pokemon now. Yeah, it would really help if I had a Ghost-type on this team, but I don't. Oh well. Anyway, I go ahead and send out my Metagross, um, hoping that I can wall this guy okay, and I swear I didn't predict that. There's no way I could have predicted a Poison Jab on a Machamp. This is a really, really creative moveset, and I give you props, Mr. Neely13. Anyway, he calls back Machamp at this point and sends out Weavile. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, actually, it makes sense because... Uh, I guess he might have seen my uh, Uchikoma in the past uh, and knew that I was running the Psychic. Anyway, he blocks it. And this is weird. He, this is, his Weavile has a Flame Orb, so I'm not sure what his Weavile runs at all. Um, so I, I'm just really confused here. But I go ahead and go for the Bullet Punch because whatever, it's priority. And Weavile is, has no defenses to speak of. And I do manage to KO that Weavile no problem. Uh, so I never did get to find out what set that uh, Weavile was running, and that's too bad, because whatever it was, it must have been fairly interesting. Um, anyway, uh, he's going to go ahead and send out Felicia at this point, and so, so far, I'm like, Metagross is like, sweet, this is okay with me. I've got counters for all these Pokemon. Uh, interestingly, he goes first. Uh, his Charge Beam misses, which is sad, I'm sorry. But I've got the Hammer Arm, and so I'm going to smack this little pink... <laughs> Uh, and that is going to one-hit KO, which is amazing. The only other time I think I faced Blissey in a battle um, was against Asukatsu uh, in a doubles battle, and that Blissey ruined ruined my day completely. Anyway, now he actually sends out a Pokemon that I'm not sure how I'm going to handle. It's uh, Gyarados, which, and I figure it's probably going to Dragon Dance me, uh, expecting me to re uh, you know, be called back. Uh, but I decided I'm going to leave it in because, you know, I've been set up on by Gyarados before. I didn't like it. I don't want to have it happen again. So, yeah, he does go ahead and Dragon Dance, and I, I'm just going to stay in and attack and see how much it does. Um, yeah, so attack and speed rises, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and use Psychic since my other three attacks are resisted. Um, does a lot of damage, but uh, it looks like I might be able to take it out on the next turn. But I figure at this point he's a plus one, he's gonna EQ me, and then no, he gets greedy! He goes for the second dra Dragon Dance, um, figuring that he can survive one more Psychic. Uh, and maybe he can, I, I guess I'm not seeing the HP numbers, um, you know, based on the amount of damage that the last one did. Uh, it might, this might be a case of min-max damage, but I do hit KO on the next turn, and that is sad for him. Um, so anyway, next out is going to be Togekiss. And um, here, again, I've got lots of options for what to do. I can go for the uh, super, or not super effective, regularly effective hammer arm, or regularly effective stab psychic. Um, anyway, he goes ahead and T-waves me, and I get paralyzed, um, which, eh, it happens. Not the end of the world. Uh, I get the parahacks and whatever. Um, he goes ahead and flamethrowers me, uh, and that does a pretty decent chunk. I mean, more than half, that's going to be an easy two-hit KO. I go ahead and go for the psychic here. Um, gets him down to a little bit over half. I mean, it's not great, but it's not awful either. Anyway, he predicts my switch here and goes for the wish. Unfortunately, I decide to stay in. I'm sacrificing this Uchikoma. He's staying in until he's dead. Uh, and I go for the hammer arm here, which I see does a bit more damage. Uh, he must be more specially defensive than physically defensive. Makes sense. Um, so that's pretty good. Now here I make a misplay. I really should have gone for the um, bullet punch. 
just gotten a little bit more damage off, but I don't, and so Flamethrower is going to kill me, and that's Bye Bye Uchikoma. That's okay, it did a great job in this match. I am quite, quite impressed. So, my Metagross is taken out, um, he gets his Wish recovery back, uh, and is back up to maybe 75% health, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Quants, my T-Tar, and get up the Sandstorm, uh, so that's going to be nice. Um, Quance is going to go ahead and attack with a Stone Edge here for the super effective stab hit, and as long as I don't miss, I feel pretty good about my chances of KOing uh, this Togekiss. And indeed, I actually go first, which is good. Uh, I hit, which is even better, and I KO just as I was expecting. So down goes uh, his Togekiss, and it is happy days for me. Um, yeah, get a little bit of life forward recoil, so now he knows kind of the set that I'm using. Sends out my champ and is probably expecting me to uh, switch out, which would be the smart move after all. Um, but I decide I'm going to stay in, I'm going to go for the Aqua Tail, just see how much it does, because I really don't have anyone who can take a cross chop well. And I get him down to pretty darn low HP, but he does survive. Anyway, yeah, he was obviously predicting me to switch. Goes for the Poison Jab, not very effective. Um, but, you know, that's great. Unfortunately, I get the poison hacks. Uh, again, you know, he's gotten, uh, he's gotten some hacks as well. I mean, I've gotten some hacks against him. Uh, so it all balances out in the end. Anyway, his Machamp goes down to the, uh, to the um, sand. If it hadn't been that, it would have been the poison. So that's great for Quants. Uh, and next out for him is his, it's surprisingly his last Pokemon. Uh, it's his Azelf. And so I'm thinking, okay, well this guy's probably going to do a 4x effective U-turn, but whatever, I'm just going to stay in uh, and sacrifice Quan. It's going to go for the crunch in case he does something weird. Um, strangely, he goes for the protect, and so I'm thinking, okay, so he's trying to get me to lower HP. That makes sense, considering, you know, I am poisoned and everything, and maybe, you know, he just really wants to be sure of that KO. That makes sense. Um, but anyway, on the next turn... Uh, he protects again, and the protect fails, because there's a 50% chance of that happening, and I take him out. So I figure he must have only had a Psychic-type attacking move, and so I must have walled him, and so that's it for Azelf, and that's it for the game. So Mr. Neely 13, uh, great battle. Um, it's always great to battle you. Um, other folks, comment, rate, subscribe, challenge, and stay tuned um, for more battles with Mr. Neely 13.